In this video, I'm going to share with you three examples of how to add fractions with the same denominator. In this first example, we're using two fractions that are unit fractions. A fraction is a unit fraction when the numerator is one. Now, looking at these two fractions, what are their denominators? The first fraction are in eighths and the second fraction are in eighths as well. So when we're adding two fractions together, we talked about in the previous videos how the denominators have to be the same, but that you do not add them together. It's just telling us the size of our parts once we join them together. So the size of this whole is broken into eighths, and we have one of the eighths, and the size of this whole is partitioned into eighths, and we have one of those eighths. We know our new denominator is still going to have eighth size pieces. So let's look at it like this, where we're combining those two numerators together. One way to remember, or to when you're teaching others to remember that we do not add the denominator is just to bring that denominator over and then to rewrite those two numerators together. This step is not required. It's just another way to visualize adding those fractions together. 1 8 plus 1 8 is 2 8. Our sum for 1 8 plus 1 8 is 2 8. Let's look at another example where our fractions are not unit fractions. Here in this example, we have 5 12ths and we're going to add on 3 12ths. First, let's think about what are the denominators. The first fraction, the denominator is 12ths, and the second fraction, the denominator is also 12ths. Great, so now we can join them together because the denominators are the same. They have the same size pieces. We have five of the 12ths, and we're gonna add on three of the 12ths. Let's look at it differently by joining those two numerators together and remembering that no matter what, our denominator will still be 12. So here we write 12 because no matter what, our denominator is 12. 5 plus 3 is 8. Or 5 12 plus 3 12 equals 8 12. Let's look at one more example where we're using two fractions that are greater than 1 to add together. In this example, we have 14 tenths plus 19 tenths. What are the denominators? In the first fraction, the denominator is tenths. In the second fraction, the denominator is also tenths. Great, we can add these two fractions together because they have the same denominator. Whatever our sum is going to be, we know our denominator will still be in tenths. Here we have 14 tenths. Yes, we know this is a fraction greater than one. And 19 tenths, another fraction greater than one. How many tenths will we have all together? Let's rewrite it, joining those two numerators together. So we can look at it here, 14 tenths plus 19 tenths. Whatever our sum is, we know the denominators will still be tenths. So 14 plus 19 is 33. 14 tenths plus 19 tenths is 33 tenths. If you would like to see how to add fractions with the same denominator, using fraction bars or picture models, check out these two videos here.